Hello my beautiful batch, it's Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it's the beautiful cartoon surround dead garden from Just Two or Just Woo. If you're looking for a hand painted cartoon style beautiful garden for your game, your survival game maybe because this is part of the surround dead series where you can get a load of amazing hand painted survival art assets from Just Woo over on the Unity asset store and this pack could be for you. Sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. I've thrown in my extended fly cam so I can fly about and see things in this nicely laid out, ready to make garden. It looks lovely. I have to say, it is a beautiful beautiful garden we are in the survival garden growing these beautiful vegetables beautiful some not so beautiful oh, look the flowers on the top of them look at the flowers on the top of them growing and here they planted some in the tires and inside if we go inside the little greenhouse they're all growing along and looking pretty very pretty Indeed. Oh my word. Very lovely. Look at these. Look at these here. Oh. Oh my word. Feels like well, it feels like I'm in the garden. Feels like I'm a little cartoon person inside a garden playing with my potatoes. Picking my potatoes up. Growing my potatoes. Oh, it's beautiful. It really is. It's lovely. My kids want me to remake Raft for them but uh, co-op so they can play on the TV together because they don't like having one person playing and the other person not able to play and this would be great for me to put in raft you know have their little flower beds on the raft yeah so you don't have it doesn't have to be in a garden you can use this in anything that's what I'm going to use it for let's pop into the other demo scene and, and play about with the rest of this pack in more detail wow I'm loving this cartoon greenhouse garden setup from just two or just woo i call them just woo because of when it's look at it just looks like just woo but it's just two there's two of them two brothers uh, this package contains 150 new meshes so if you do have the other assets do not worry these are new meshes we have seven plants four growth stages very important eight vegetables 39 raised beds my wife made some raised flower beds for our garden nine modular greenhouse elements 20 scene dresses 72 props and 29 textures the first thing i would draw attention to is that the folder structure is a little bit messy so we don't have our scenes in the scene folder we've got a uh, material and some textures and just laying around the place a little bit messy uh, and there's also a, a random lot of floating about the place i would say just you know clean that up clean that up just a, a, a tad but that doesn't detract from the quality of the artwork let's go full screen in the edit mode in this full screen editor and oh pretty let's turn off for the gizmos actually turn off you gizmos there you go there you get complaints about gizmos on so now gizmos off so here are our raised flower beds and um, there's a box so you can close that lid for i don't know is it mushrooms and things things that need to grow in the dark uh, or like you know, if it's cold you put the lid down so they don't die we've had that with the frost and we've got some lovely boxes love the hand painted cartoon style i love this hand painted it's beautiful it really is i said i love it because it's different to the the polygon style that you know, we're seeing so much of um and the hand painted really is pretty i'm, I'm a fan i'm a big fan of this i'm a big fan of the just woo just woo guys work just woo just woo and i'm sure i think he was two brothers it could be two sisters i remember I remember chatting to them lovely look at these oh you got your water in there or possibly a body is that generate for a generator and here's our plants actually you know what before we go over there let's carry on looking at here's flower pots empty and full and always look spilt ones and broken ones very important to have is this uh, separated as let's go and have a look are they proper separated no no they're not 
I would love this to be proper separated little meshes. Let's have a look. Select pot. No, it's not broken down into lots of little pieces. That's a shame. I'd love to have that broken, proper broken into little pieces. We can just separate that off. There's so many even tools you can load that into Blender and just separate them off. Blender's free. And there's tools to do that inside Unity as well, which is what I'd do. I'd chop these off and then have them on like that and do an animation of them breaking. A little, I mean, that, that would have been a nice little touch. They could have done that themselves as a little gift. Um, don't put your ice cream in these. We've got, you know, we've got some of these plants that came, seeds that came from the greenhouse, from the plant shop. A hose. Love to stick this with a, a spline on there so you can move the hose around. That would be nice. Seeds. Spilt seeds. Oh, that's fertilizer. That's fertilizer. I do apologize. Fertilizer. Grow quick. It. And here's our greenhouse. Covers for the greenhouse love this cartoon style what are we looking at here on a poly count so what are we looking at 862 tries 669 verts 676 verts they are doing good numbers 94 really works well low numbers so proper low numbers we've got here on the poly count do these doors open? Well, let's have a look. So, uh, let's click one of them. There's a door. Where's the pivot? And yes, yes, it does. Oh, we'll open it the wrong way, obviously. Open outwards so that it doesn't break with the wood. But there you go. Oh, brilliant. Lovely back over here let's look at our veg healthy um i would have liked to have seen some rotted vegetables on on those oh no here they are they are here are the rotted ones so that's that's not too rotted okay so here's healthy up to here's healthy here's rotted so i was like i would like to see some rotted well we do have rotted um but maybe they could be a little more a little more rotted just and is that just the top or do we have the whole no look we got the whole carrot the whole dirty carrot and I pumpkins and our tomatoes see that's good that's a good dead tomatoes and there's your your ready-made come out of the ground ready to eat ready for some good eating it's a lovely pack I could even use this for like hanging my weapons on or drying my meat on. Meat rack. Some good survival things you could use this for a survival pack. I mean, it is a survival, it is from the survival series. Really nice, really nice stuff. Raised flower beds over here with some corrugated steel made up of some bricks. That's a nice style. I like that. I like these flower beds. I like these flower beds. Wow. Nice touch there, having the lining in there. Are we using as wheels, tires? Because as I say, this is from a survival. When you're surviving, you make use of all your materials. Uh, like here, a cut open barrel. Wow, I remember my dad used to cut these open and make barbecues out of on the metal ones put some grills on the top proper tire plant pots with the tires the raised flower bed made of entirely of tires and planks of wood that's beautiful <laughs> I mean it's beautiful it's a tire but you know that even even the concept of them doing this works really well in this genre feels like it's part of this survival the survival world i love that i would like to see this as components though so we've got here bits of metal right but if i 
now look at this this is one piece so we don't have this empty so if I go and select look raised bed we don't have the empty raised beds for these that's I would like that request to developers make empty raised bed versions okay provide us those loose pieces of metal well look here we've got this this sheet here that you could use okay so you could use this this piece of metal you could use this plank or this piece of plywood do we have an empty tire well, there's loads of empty tires and other kits but you want an empty tire that matches the same feeling as this one so those those are the raised beds let's have a look at the props bucket oh well, here we go look look empty oh we've got empty compost oh, it's a compost bin that's what that was at the start it was a compost bin oh, it was a raised flower no it was a compost bin crates we got those buckets we got the plant pots were empty so why not the raised flower beds being empty which is odd seeds lots of different seeds just the tops on those are changing an empty barrel and a full barrel does the wheel on the barrel move yes it does good we can go and animate that wheel or put a wheel collider on that wheel and make it move as it goes that's nice and we've got our plants here lots of different plants look it's a bit i love it i love the art style i love the collection of models we've got in this pack requests for improvements yes please requests for improvements would be to have the flower beds as empty empty versions of the flower beds um these pieces these bricks these breeze block bricks to have them uh separated and empty so if you're giving us if you're giving us these flower beds just to uh, and giving us these you know these things that are built give us the parts to be able to build them yeah? I'm not sure I don't recall if the parts are in the other asset packs but if they are or if they're not it doesn't matter I want them in this pack because if people are buying this pack we should be able to have the, the components to make this garden because it's for a survival game and if in the survival game you like to be able to make the stuff So normally this is a cent shy of 30 bucks, but in the sale it is a cent shy of 15 bucks. So get it while you can. If you're wanting a cartoon garden with loads of lovely plants of fruit and veg to grow and some potatoes and a wheelbarrow and for some raised flower beds, then this is the pack for you. Needs a little bit of extra love, I'll just say, with the individual pieces to be able to make these flower beds ourselves in a game but other than that i think it's lovely i really do I'm, I'm very impressed with this pack i think it's great and i'm gonna have a lot of fun playing about with it in my own projects so if you do like these videos don't forget give a big, big click on that red subscribe button down below put a comment click a like and tell all of your friends and random people on the street that the messy coda is playing about in the garden uh don't tell my wife because she'll expect me to do it for real so if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.